Hey everybody, welcome back to the show, the show that I host, the show that you're watching, and the show that brings us all together. All five of us that watch the video. But uh, today's video is going to be in the same vein as some old videos that I've made where instead of t actually talking to you about something with some substance, I'm writing the wave of what's popular and slapping a top 10 num number on it or something like that. So without further ado, let's talk about the top 10 Spider-Man suits that need to be in Spider-Man PS4. So the first is obvious. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I need the black suit. Like, why would I not get the symbiote suit in a Spider-Man game? I Also, this isn't going to be a, a list that's in order. I probably should have said that earlier. But just 10 suits that need to be in the game. And uh, the, the symbiote suit is definitely one of them. Like, maybe get some like symbiote powers, like Venom tentacles and stuff like that. I don't know. Insomniac, I'm sure that you figured something out for that, so just go ahead and give me a Venom suit. Uh, Scarlet Spider, both Kane and Ben Riley, so that's two and three, because Ben Riley was a staple in Marvel's comic uh, like storytelling the entire 90s. He was a huge part of Spider-Man's story, so I think he deserves a little bit of respect in the biggest Spider-Man game this side of the Millennia turn, but... Maybe he'll be there, maybe he won't. I, I hope so, I really want to. And maybe you get, like, concussion, concussive webbing or, like, something out of that suit. There's got to be some kind of ability that they can come up with, right? And then for the Kane suit, then you have, like, blades or whatever. I don't know. I don't make these games. I have no idea what to expect from them. But I'm hoping that they're smart enough to understand that people really, really like the the Scarlet Spider and put him somewhere in the game. I better not catch some heat over this, all right? I'm gonna say Superior Spider-Man, not only because I really enjoyed that that story in the in the comics, I actually, not ironically, really liked it. But he also, it was it was a good suit, I feel like. It, it did a good job of representing that there was someone else behind the wheel of Spider-Man's body, and that that someone wasn't exactly a good person. I like little nuances, like the way that the suit was designed. I also really like it, so that's all I really have to say about that. So moving on, you knew it was going to be here, Spider-Man 2099. I mean, come on, it's a no-brainer. That suit has to be in the game. If, if the noir suit is in there, the 2099 suit needs to be there. And with that, you could like glide and stuff. Like that would probably be the, probably be the easiest suit to figure out bonus abilities to give because Spider-Man, Spider-Man's worn so many freaking suits, dude. It's, nutty, but, I mean, who doesn't love Spider-Man 2099? Not the new suit, the old suit, the one that's got, like, the big skull on it. I, I love that so much. Ricochet. I know that that whole identity crisis gave us more than just the Ricochet uh, identity, but Ricochet is the coolest one. He throws, like, R's. And He's like, imagine if Spider-Man became Robin for a week. Like, that's pretty much what that is. And it's really cool. The suit's very much 1990s, and sometimes you harken back to the silly, campy source material that comic books are. And sometimes it works. Sometimes you get, like, Batman and Robin or something. But I think Insomniac would be able to strike a good balance in that. Jesus. What's happening outside my house? Anyway, I'm sure they could strike an interesting balance with that and give us something that is satisfying to wear. So apparently there's like construction happening outside my house, so if you hear that, I'm sorry, I don't have time to wait later to record this video, so I kind of have to get this done now. But moving on to the big time slash stealth suit, that's another one of my favorites from recent comics. It, it kind of, I don't exactly know why he needs a stealth suit, and I'm sure that the noir suit has stealth capabilities before you let me up in the comments, but I'm just expecting another variation of a stealth capable suit in the game. I'm, I want a bigger selection of suits than even the Amazing Spider-Man suit had, and this game, I feel, is the only one that's going to be capable of doing that. Now, I hope my dad never sees this video because he's going to be furious with me if I say this, but the Feature Foundation suit, I hated the Feature Foundation storyline, but I thought the Spider-Man suit from that story was really cool, and I want to see it in this game, I want to see it in motion, I want to see it brought to life in 1080p, maybe even 4K graphics if somebody has a PS4 Pro. Uh, also, if you have a PS4 Pro, let me know. Maybe maybe you can like show me some gameplay from it. But, well, that's just annoying. Now, I know we've already got two suits from the film universe, from the MCU. We've got the homemade suit and we've got the Iron Spider suit, but can we just get the normal homecoming suit? That's the only suit they've put Spider-Man in that I that I really liked in these movies. Sure, the, the homemade suit had its charm, but I just, I just like a real Spider-Man costume. 
And I just want that, you know? I'm probably not even going to be using the basic white spider suit a whole lot in the game, but I don't like it that much. Can I just get a normal Spider-Man costume? Please, for the love of anything, that'd be... I'd love that. Just give me that, please. And last but not least, Cosmic Spider-Man, also known as the Captain Universe Spider-Man. Um, one time, Captain Universe fused his body with Spider-Man, and he was granted... Dummy... He was... Dummy strong. Boy was swole. But I, I like the look. Uh, it's very 1990s as well. Um, you don't really get to see it in anything these days. And maybe if they gave it some abilities, that'd be nice. Uh, I don't know how they how they would give it abilities without it being game-breaking. Because you are, you know, Captain Universe. But that's just what I want to see. But that's about it. I would like to thank you so much for watching. Liking, commenting, subscribing. If you're new and sharing, you're right. If you liked it just that much. And if you're here from Imgur, hi. If you're here from Snapchat, Hi, if you're here from Twitter, well, you don't exist, but stay frosty, royal milk tea, and I will see you tomorrow.